Hello everybody and welcome back to my FIFA 16 Everton career mode. As you can see, we're starting out this episode with the Merseyside Derby against Liverpool. And I'm in a pretty good mood right now because I'm start I'm recording this I've recorded this a while ago. I'm sorry for not uploading in like two weeks or uploading Chelsea Career Mode Chelsea Career Mode. I'm thinking FIFA 15. What am I thinking? Everton career mode um in a couple weeks. Um so I, I said Chelsea because I was not because I used to have a career mode with them, but because Everton's playing Chelsea right now as I'm recording this, as I'm recording the post commentary, and they just can you not phone? And they just scored two minutes ago. It's the 80th minute. They Lukaku just scored in the 78th minute, and it's one nil to Everton against Chelsea in the FA Cup. So that that's why I'm in a good mood. Anyways, um, yeah. So we're taking on Liverpool, obviously, as you can see. Very important match. Whoever wins this, um. I mean, if, if we lose, Liverpool will go top of the table. If we win, we'll obviously remain top of the table. The Camacho shot just goes wide there in the 11th minute. Great opportunity to go 1-0 up. And then, how did he get away with that? He just completely took out Bogdan. The tackle was from behind. I was just like, no, he's going to get a red card. Because usually, even if it's like a... like you, you, Okay, by the way, yeah, he hit the post, the crossbar, I mean. Anyways, usually if you tackle the goalkeeper, the referee's much more harsh in terms of cards, which makes sense. Um, but... Somehow he didn't even get even a yellow card for that, and Bogdan makes a save with a free kick. I expected him to get sent off because, I mean, he tackled the goalkeeper from behind for no reason. But Erickson puts a shot wide as well. No nil at the halftime. Or at the half. Then John Stones hits the bar. And into the second half, and Yaki Williams, the first chance saved by Bogdan yet again. We've been by far the better side. We nearly scored there. Bogdan saves, and then Sacco. Race, uh, races forward and jumps up and gets the header and it's out for a corner. Another chance, Camacho puts it through for Lacazette and he does find the back of the net, but it's not going to count because he was offsides. So, yeah, very disappointing. We should be one 0 up right now. I'm not. I'm not saying this call was bad. It's clearly legit call, but like we should be one 0 up right now just because we've been by far the better side. And Garbutt takes a shot on goal and it's saved. And then Benteke nearly scored. He hit the crossbar. I was just like, I was at the, on the edge of my seat at this point. I really had a feeling there was going to be a late winner. And Liverpool really stepped it up. Firmino's shot was deflected off of Garbutt. And then it was out for a Liverpool corner in the 90th minute. And as you can see, it was absolutely pitiful. And that's how the game finished. Nil-nil, unfortunately. But we do keep our lead at the top of the Barclays Premier League table. These are the stats. They had two shots, two on target. We had ten shots, seven on target. Barely edges out in the possession game. But I think we really should have won that. But here we are in the Europa League. Tremolinas really, really should have made it 1-0 to Sevilla right there in the 20th minute. But somehow... Oh my gosh, Everton just scored again. It's 2-0. Oh my gosh. Anyways, um, yeah, and then Koke puts a shot inches wide yet again. Nearly 2... It could have been 2-0 to Sevilla there, but then Muslera saved the shot from us this time. And then, yeah, it's 2-0 to Everton in real life against Chelsea. That's incredible. Anyways... Konoplyanka's cross is not good enough, and we do get a goal kick out of that. It's Lukaku again. Anyways, um, yeah. So, here we're at the end of the game, and as you can see, it ended nil-nil. Yet again, we failed to score. There were three highlights. They were the kind of the better team this time. But anyways, now we're up against Hulk, uh, uh, Hull, Hulk, 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 Hull City, Hull away from home in the Premier League once again, and the first shot of the game was saved by Seckenberg, and Lacazette was uh, injured. So this was literally my reaction, just like, yay, okay, yay. That was literally my reaction because he was just been so terrible <laughs> so far. Um, very disappointing, but they nearly took the lead there. Livermore hits the post. But yeah, we brought in Inyaki Williams, replacing Lacazette after he was injured. Anyways, we have a chance to go in up here. Somehow we retain possession. Parejo takes a shot. There was just a huge scramble. Um, Erickson managed to hold on to the ball. It fell to Parejo in the end. who tucked it past the goalkeeper to make it 1-0 to Everton. So, yeah, we should have been expected to win this anyway. Um, but, yeah, after being denied by Stecklenburg earlier, we now have the lead. But then Howard has to make a save on the line there. Then we have another chance here, Christian Eriksen, definitely our best signing probably, and he makes it 2-0, just like that. And Chelsea have a red card! Oh my gosh! Guys, I'm freaking out right now. I know, I, if only it was through the Premier League, Everton could use a win. <laughs> but anyways, 
Um, yeah. We are beating Chelsea 2-0, and they have a 10 men. And he, as you can see, the goalkeeper made a terrible mistake there. Gave it away to Erickson. I need to start paying attention to this more than the Chelsea Everton game. Anyways, he passed it back to the goalkeeper, the defender. Then it's tackled away by Erickson. Tucks it into the back of the net. Simple as that. Two goals for Christian Erickson. We're up by three away at Hull City, so we're definitely starting to score. But the good news is, despite not scoring in those other games, we haven't conceded. And here's cleverly just wide. I thought that was going in when I first took it when I first took that shot. Um, yeah. So aside from not scoring in the past matches, we aren't conceding either. And Delafay makes it four. While we're at it, let's just score another goal. So yeah, this game is way beyond West Ham's reach. Although knowing Everton, anything's anything's possible. But you know, um, yeah, this game. I think it's safe to say we're gonna win this away at Hull City. We were expected to win, but I did not think it would be 4-0 considering we've had some trouble scoring in the past few games. Anyways, Coleman with the chance to make it 4-0. And I was trying to not be selfish because I felt like I was being too selfish with other players. And as you can see, we kind of messed up. Anyways, Lacazette's out for four weeks with a hyperextended knee. And um, yeah, as you can see, the game obviously finished 4-0. And now we're simming this game in the Capital One Cup against Crystal Palace. And as you can see, we get a massive 5-0 victory, a hat-trick for Parejo, and two goals for Delafeu. Parejo's a center center mid. Somehow he manages to score three. But anyways, um, that's a very awesome win there. I did not expect it to be 5-0. Here we are at home against Manchester City, who are actually kind of struggling this season. And Inyaki Williams' shot is blocked, and then Lukaku tries to get the, on the ball, and that's well defended. As you can see, there's some players that just aren't Normal City starters, there's this guy named Williams, and Lukaku nearly made it 1-0 there, but it was saved by Caballero. And it was crossed into the box by Parejo. The header by Camacho, saved yet again by Caballero. We've conceded two goals in ten games, that's incredible. But Denaire absolutely just trucks Yanyaki Williams there. And it remains 0-0, but then Delphi wins it back and passes it over to Camacho. Camacho turns and shoots. <laughs> <laughs> it was just way off target. I don't even know why I put that in the video. Free kick with Parejo. Sails over the crossbar. Not good enough. Um, then a chance for Williams to first go 1-0 up. A brilliant save by Caballero. He has been incredible today. Then he has, he's called into action again there. Makes another save. Another chance with Williams, and it's off of the post. And, yep, we've won a penalty. Leighton Baines steps up to take it. And there was a lot of lag there. I have no clue what just went down, but Leighton Baines scored the penalty. It was really weird. Everton are down to 10 men as well. That's interesting. Two red cards. Okay. Um, anyways. Yeah, we're one up against Manchester City. Lots of really weird lag at that part. I have no clue what, what went down. But yeah, Baines scored the penalty. 1-0. Then Delfeu has an opportunity to make it 2-0. But again... I, I, I think there was lag there. I can't even tell if it was saved or blocked or whatever. But then Cavalero decides to just, like, punch the ball instead of catching it. Um, yeah, that no, nothing came of that. And Lukaku could have made it, too. He hit the post from so close that, that he, that he should have scored that, really. Then Parejo finds Erickson. I mean, Delphi, that's what I meant to say. And we win another penalty. So, could go 2-0 up here. Leighton Baines stepping up to the spot yet again. And, um... I, there were a couple substitutions that ended up being made before we could take the penalty. City made a sub, then we actually um, swapped out our two center mids with some bench players. Now it's Leighton Baines' chance to score his second of the match, and our second penalty of the match, and our second goal of the match. And he does find the back of the net, oh, of course, Leighton Baines' penalty master. And it's 2-0 to Everton against Manchester City. We are top of the league, they're struggling, I don't know exactly what position, but they're on the struggle bus. And... We're just having no problem with them. I mean, I mean, I guess there kind of was. Their defending was somewhat decent. Um, we just somehow only managed to score from the spot. But actually, well, I guess it's not true anymore. We scored 90th minute. The game is wrapped up by Romelu Lukaku's goal there. 3-0 um, against Manchester City. Incredible. Um, but yeah, until this, we only managed to score from penalties. But we were by far the better side. Cavalero was a beast for the whole game. Um, but anyways, yeah, we are in some great form, and we need to be because the board has high expectations of us. Cleverly could have made it four, and it just goes wide. I believe it might have clipped the post as it went out. But that is how the game finishes. I can't be disappointed. 3-0. It could have been five if Lukaku had scored that goal from point blank range, and I cleverly put that in the back of the net. 
just then. And I know it's weird, Champions Cup, I'm simming a game. But yeah, we did win 3-0 against Lumiakos, 2 for Lukaku, 1 for Kone. It's because we're, we're top of the group now. Two draws, two wins. I'll explain why I simulated that. It's just because, like, I... The way we were, like, drawing and not scoring too much there, I felt more confident simulating that game. Maybe that was stupid, I don't know. But doing 2 0 away at Aston Villa in the Premier League. And, um, yeah, and Laporte's out for nine days, which is a shame. But it's perfect timing, actually, because there is an international break coming up. So, as you can see, Inyaki Williams went up to 79 in training. And yes, I do do training a lot. It's just I don't usually show it in the video, but I felt like putting it in here this time for whatever reason. But. Yeah, anyways, in the next episode, we will be taking on Belgium in um, World Cup qualifiers with England. Let's go, and um, I hope you all have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. I also have a new logo and banner on my channel, so check that out. Anyways, come on you blues, see you in the next episode.